of Cultural Olympiad, part of the Olympic Games in London. The Globe Theatre is to put on all of Shakespeare's plays from drama groups in 37 different countries. One of the most exotic productions will be a comedy of errors in Persian from Afghanistan. Tahir Kadiri from BBC Persian TV has this report from Kabul. Contemporary Kabul seems a world away from Renaissance England. But for the director Corinne Jobber, the decision to set one of Shakespeare's early comedies in modern-day Afghanistan was an obvious one. Well, I think Renaissance um, Elizabethan England is much closer to contemporary Afghanistan than it is to anywhere else in Europe, that's for sure. I mean, like Comedy of Errors, I mean, there's extraordinary moments in it where the search for the loved one is, in com is, is compared to the search of a, a drop of water in the ocean. And because you are so lost by looking for a loved one, you lose yourself, which is a very spiritual concept and which any Afghan could, could relate to here. <laughs> the play has been translated into high Persian, specifically for this production. During the six-week rehearsal process, the actors will adapt the script to the local Persian dialect spoken in Afghanistan. Afghanistan is associated with terrorism, drugs and poverty. We want to show the world that this is not the reality. Afghanistan has a rich culture and its people are peaceful. The project is revolutionary. Public performances were forbidden by the Taliban and many of the actors auditioning have never been to the theater or read Shakespeare before. It gets more and more and more. One of the main challenges here in Afghanistan is that not everyone understands the concept of theater. The Afghan National Theater was destroyed during the Civil War and for my generation the theater is a new phenomenon. The government doesn't care about culture. If I asked the president now, what do you know about theater, he wouldn't know what I was talking about. I don't think he's been to the theater or knows how important culture is. Many women are unwilling to take part. Obeda is an Afghan TV star who is hoping to be cast in the play. She told me that to be an actress in Afghanistan is seen as shameful. She began acting to support her seven children, but has now been disowned by many of her family. Once the play is cast, the actors will rehearse in India rather than Kabul because of security concerns. And when they reach the Globe in London later this year, the site of Shakespeare's original theatre they hope to transform the audience's perception of Afghanistan and maybe also of Shakespeare. Tahir Khadiri, BBC News. Lovely stuff. Now, before we go, I want to show you some pictures that have just come in from Germany, from the northern town of Delhi.